doses have actually been shipped out, but just over 5 million Americans have actually received the first dose. So what needs to happen to speed up that process? Indeed, Joe, we are looking at a ratio of one third of vaccines that have been distributed made in people's arms. And we kind of expected to have some hiccups with the rollout. This is something that has not ever been done before at such a large scale. So I think we are in a deep need for developing vaccination centers. A lot of volunteers are being trained right now. And I think there is a lot of um, the army is going to be involved into that. We need to ramp it up. And also the $8 billion that have been injected into the vaccination process will add some steam to, the, to it. Now, the U.K. strain has been reported in a few states, and now health experts are saying the South African strain is also here. Explain the difference between these two variants and how likely vaccines are to protect against them. Indeed, mutations are expected when it comes to viruses. Now, the question comes if the vaccines that have been developed are as effective as uh, the basic strain. Now, what's different about the South African variant is that involves more mutations involving the spike protein, and that's the target of the vaccines. We'll have an answer by the end of this week how effective vaccines are. We do expect them to be effective, but maybe as not as high as initially um, um, mentioned in the trials. But on the positive side, vaccines, the, especially the mRNA ones, uh, they can be modified in four to six weeks. It's just like updating a software. And doctor, very quickly, you were actually part of the AstraZeneca vaccine trial. That vaccine is already approved in the UK. Tell us more about what it was like and if that could soon get approved here in the US. I was very happy to uh, participate in a vaccine trial, which was my duty. I was just walking the walk. Uh, but I did not really feel anything when I got it except some arm tenderness. And uh, eventually I had to be unblinded because I'm a healthcare provider and I did receive the real vaccine. So this is very encouraging. I felt well. I only had very mild arm tenderness for a few hours and no other side effect. And you hope we'll see it in the U.S. soon? Uh, well, we're looking at, uh, because they had so many hiccups with the um, trials and dosing and some missteps there, I think FDA is looking at it in the mid-January or uh, toward early February. And probably is going to be uh, approved by the end of February. But definitely this vaccine is going to be a game uh, a changer because it's so much cheaper, only a quarter of the price, and it's very easy to transport and distribute in those remote areas. All right, doctor, thank you so much. And that does it for this busy hour of morning news.